into multiplying decimals. Just before we start, a reminder that there is a notes chapter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Now, if you've seen my previous video on multiplying uh, multiplication methods, uh, you'll know that I showed uh, three different methods, the column method, the grid method, and Mapier's bones. I'm going to do the same again for uh, multiplying with decimals, um, just to see if we can find a preferred method uh, for both different situations, multiplying uh, whole numbers and multiplying with decimals. And so I'm going to begin with uh, the multiplication method for um, uh, column method. Now, we've got five times 3.4. Now, personally, um, I prefer in this situation to change the values that we're actually working with. It's 5 times 3.4, but if I ignore the decimal point, it becomes 5 times 34. Now, what I need to be careful of here is that I have changed this question from being multiplied by 3.4 to being multiplied by 34. And what that means is I've actually multiplied by 10. And I just need to keep note of that. I've multiplied by 10 to begin with. But when we set it up, we can now just set up a column exactly as we did before. 34 times 5. And 5 times 4 is 20. So we write down the 0, carry over the 2. 5 times 3 is 15, plus the 2 is uh, 17. And so that tells me that 5 times 34 is 170. But that is not the question we were asked. It, at the very beginning, we multiplied one of our values by 10. And so we now need to undo that. How would I undo that? Well, I would divide by 10. And if I divide 170 by 10, the decimal point would be here at 17. And so 5.3 uh, times 3.4 is actually 17. Now, what you will also notice here is the question had one decimal place. The answer also has one decimal place. That is one good way of checking that you've got the right answers. For the grid method, 8 times 4.7. Now again, we would need to think about doing the same thing. 8 times 47 instead. And so just a reminder again, I've multiplied one of my values by 10. So 8 times 47, I would set that up as 8 and 40 and 7. 8 times 47, well, 8 times 4 is 32 with a 0 on the end. 8 times 7 is 56. I would then want to add those two numbers together. And if I do that, I get 376. But once again, we times by 10 at the start, so we want to divide by 10 at the end. We'll actually make this 37 Point 0.6 and again we had one decimal place in the question and we've now got one decimal place in the answer 37.6 now Napier's bones Napier's bones is the only method where I won't actually be changing the value to start with and I'm going to show you why um, in 7 times 5.6 I can write 5 point and I've uh, lined that decimal point up with the line in the grid 5.6 times 7 and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to do the multiplication process so 5 times 7 is 35 6 times 7 is 42 like I showed you in the previous video we're going to then just go along each diagonal so that is a 2 in the first diagonal a 9 in the second and a 3 in the last one but here's the, uh, the cool thing about Napier's bones. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this decimal point and I'm going to follow it down. And this decimal point follows straight down in between the 9 and the 2. And so 7 times 5.6 is 39.2. So next we're going to look at two digit numbers um, being multiplied together. Uh, but in this case, both of them being decimals. Um, and so once again, I want to just convert this first question, the column method 3.4 times 1.8. I'd like to convert it to 34 times 18. Now, in this case, we've got to be careful. We've actually multiplied two numbers by 10. So we've multiplied by 10 and multiplied by 10 again. So when we come to the end, we're going to have to factor that in 
to our answer. Now 34 times 18, if I do the multiplication, 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 3 is 24, plus the 3 is 27. And then it is 10 times 4, so we need to remember that 0 uh, down here. 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 3 is 3, and then we're going to add those together. So 2, 11, and 6, so we've got 612. But we've got to go back. If we have a look here, we had two decimal places in the question, and so we will have two decimal places in the answer. Our answer is actually 6.12. For the grid method, same idea again. 1.9 is going to become 19. 3.5 is going to become 35. But again, there, we've multiplied both of them by 10. So we're going to have to factor that in later on. 19 times 35. Well, that's going to be 10, 9, 35. 3 times 1 is 3, two zeros on the end. 3 times 9 is 27, one zero on the end. 5 times 1 is 50, uh, sorry, it's 5 with a zero on the end is 50, and 5 times 9 is 45. We'll add each of those numbers together. So that's 300, 270, 50, and 45. That is going to be 5, 16, six so 665 but again how many decimal places did we have originally well there were two decimal places in the question so we're going to have two decimal places in our answer so our answer is 6.65 now napier's bones again for napier's bones i'm not going to multiply anything by 10 i'm just going to write it down exactly as it comes 3.7 and 8.4 and then do the multiplications. So 3 times 8 is 24. 7 times 8, 56. 3 times 4, 12. And 7 times 4, 28. And then take each diagonal as it goes. So the first diagonal is going to be 8. The second diagonal is 6 plus 2 plus 2. So that's 10. Carry the 1. The next diagonal, 5 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1. That is 11. So carry the 1. And 2 plus 1 is 3 and now in order to work out where the decimal point needs to go I'm going to drop a line down from this decimal point and across from this one the position where they meet I'm then going to follow the diagonal and so in this case my decimal point will be between the 1 and the 0 I have got 31.08 and just as you'll notice um, from the uh, grid, we had two decimal places um, in the question and we have two decimal places in our answer. And so finally, we're going to start looking at um, some uh, larger, uh, no, more digits in our questions. So the column method used for 7.22 times 0 0.65. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert these numbers um, I'm going to make the first one 722 and the last one 0 0.65 well I can just call that 65 um, but again what I need to be careful of here this first number I've multiplied by 100 and the second one I've multiplied by 100 and so we must deal with that at the very end when we come to our final answer so for our column method though we've got 72 times 65 and so um, beginning with 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 2 is 10 plus the 1 is 11. 5 times 7 is 35 plus the 1 is 36. For the second part, I'm now going to be doing 60 times. So I must remember to add my original 0. So I can do 6 times 2 is 12. It's 1 carried over. 6 times 2 is 12 with the 1 is 13. And 6 times 7 is 42, with the 1 is 43. Add them all together, and we're going to get 0 plus 0, 1 plus 2, 6 plus 3, 3 plus 3, and 4. 
but we had 7.22 times 0 0.65. Our answer is obviously not 46,930. We need to think about the fact that we multiply by 100 and multiply by another 100. And so we need to divide by 100 and by 100 again. And what that means is we'll have four decimal places, just like we had in the question, four decimal places, four decimal places in the answer. We have 4.693. Zero. And another thing just to point out there, we multiplied by 0 0.65 and our answer came out as less than the number we started with. That will always happen if you are multiplying by a number less than 1. Div uh, multiplying by less than 1 creates a smaller value. For the grid method, um, 34.5 times 0 0.26. Again, we're going to convert this. So this is 345 and again we don't need to worry about the zero in here just 26 but what that does mean we first multiply by 10 and here we multiplied by 100 so we'll need to remember that at the end 345 26 let's multiply them together 3 times 2 is 6 and we'll need 3 zeros 2 times 4 is 8 and we'll need two zeros, two times five is 10, one zero, three times six is 18, two zeros, six times four is 24, one zero, and six times five, 30. And then we'll need to add all of those values together. So that's 6,000, 1,800, 800, 240, 130 and add them all together we're going to get a zero we're going to get seven eight sixteen eighteen nineteen and eight now again our original question was 34.5 times 0 0.26 that is not going to give me an answer of 8970 i need to just have a look and see how many decimal places i should be thinking about well, I, divide, I multiply by 10 and by 100, so I'd need to reverse that. I'd need to divide by 10 and then by 100, or just count my decimal places in the question. It was 3, and so I'll need 3 in my answer as well. 8.97. But finally, Napier's Bones. Um, again, we don't need to worry about multiplying this time. We're just going to write it down exactly as it comes. So 0 0.4. 1 times 5.2 0 times 5 is 0 so that is 0, 0 4 times 5 is 20 1 times 5 is 5 so it's going to be 0, 5 0 times 2 is 0 4 times 2 is 8 so 0, 8 and 1 times 2 is 2 so 0, 2 and then we're going to go along the diagonal. So the last diagonal is just the number 2. The next diagonal is 5 plus 8. So that's 13. Carry the 1. The next diagonal is just 1. And the next diagonal is 2. And the first diagonal is 0. I'm keeping that there just in case I need it at the end. Because now I just want to find out where is my decimal point going to go. Well, I'm going to draw a line down from the decimal point and across from the decimal point so that they meet and then follow that down the diagonal and that means that my decimal point should be between the 2 and the 1 my answer is 2.132 and finally we come to the exam question edXL November 2019 foundation paper 1 um, work out 54.6 times 4.3 um, now, this is a very standard uh, version of a multiplying decimals question. Um, multiplying decimals has uh, come up on higher papers as well, so it does occasionally uh, uh, class as a crossover question. Um, but the other thing is, you will see questions like this a lot when it comes to money, because you're going to be dealing with that. So it will come up in lots of different situations. But for this one, it's just a straightforward um, multiplying decimals, and so we'll use our three different methods again. Um, so for the first one, using um, the column method, well, this is going to be 546 times 43. 
3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 4 is 12, with the 1 is 13, 3 times 5 is 15, with the 1 16, and then we're going to 40 times, so we need to put our 0 down, 40 times 6, well that is going to be 24, with a 2, 4 times 4 is 16, with the 2 is 18, let's carry the 1, 4 times 5 is 20, with the 1, is 21 add them all together 8 7 14 3 2 but that is not the answer because we have not taken into account the fact they were decimals there are two decimal places in the question and so there are two decimal places in the answer we're going to get 234.78 if i was using the grid method i would set it up in the same way as i did for the column method um, I will have 546 and 43. 40 times 500, well that's going to be 20 with three zeros on the end. 40 times 40, well that's going to be 16 with two zeros. 40 times 6, that's going to be 24 with one zero. 500 times 3, it's going to be 1500. 3 times 40 is going to be 120, and 3 times 6 is going to be 18. And if I add those together, I'm going to get the same number again, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8. But I'm going to need to put in my decimal point, two places in. And finally, if I were to use Napier's bones, we draw our 3 by 2 grid. We draw some diagonals, and we write 5. 4 .6, 4 .3, and 5 times 4 is 20, 4 times 4 is 16, 6 times 4 is 24, 5 times 3 is 15, 4 times 3 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, and so diagonals is 8, 4 plus 1 plus 2 is 7, 2 plus 6 plus 1 plus 5, um, is 14, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, and uh, 2 in that one. And finally, where's our decimal point going to go? Well, down from that decimal point, cross from that one, and follow the line. It would go between the 4 and the 7. So 234.78. All three methods, the same answer.